We've got a big problem, a Marmite problem, and more specifically, the shortage of the main ingredient, bent brewer's yeast. The people in the UK are simply not drinking enough beer during this lockdown. Who would have thought? So let's find out how Marmite is actually made. Well, it consists of three ingredients, yeast extract, vegetable extract, and salt, with the yeast extract being the most important. This is the stuff that remains at the bottom of the tank after brewing beer. So let's go to a local brewery. Thanks, let's go home. This sludge is the bent brewer's yeast and it's very much alive. Okay, grab a sieve and a cheesecloth and let's filter the sludge. Squeeze it all out. Now, we're going to obamory this brown substance. That was taking too long, so transfer it to a pan and let it simmer at blood heat for about 8 hours or overnight. Next morning, we're going to turn the heat up to 16 degrees for another 2 hours and place on my stove. Now, get another pan and let's create the vegetable extract, or in my case, vegetable stock. In goes an onion, a diced turnip, throw in half a celery stick, Ooh, throw it in the pan, add water to cover, stir, and let it simmer for a few hours over low heat. Filter it through a sieve, and walk around your kitchen table a few times for no reason. Add the stock to your reduced sludge, and turn the heat up to 90 degrees for another half an hour. It should now be pretty thick and close to Marmite consistency. Yeah, that looks good. The color is a bit brown, but not too far off. I'll carefully try to add it to my empty Marmite jar. Ooh, it's very sticky. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Close it and we're done. I'm very curious how this turned out. So to test this, I'm just using a piece of bread with a thin layer of Marmite. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, this actually tastes like Marmite. It's pretty good. Has a yeasty taste. Ooh, it has a very unpleasant aftertaste. Very, very bitter. No, that doesn't work. Let's try that again. This time we got a bit more from a different brewer that uses a lot less hops, so hopefully it's less bitter. I'm also going to try to remove some of the bitterness. First up is a process called yeast rinsing, where we add four times as much water to the yeast. Close it and vigorously shake for a few minutes. Wait for 10 minutes and you should now notice some stratification happening. Discard the water at the top and try to minimize the sludge at the bottom. After this we're going to add a mix of food grade sodium hydroxide and sodium phosphate, as well as copious amounts of salt. This should all work against the bitterness. Mix and I'm trying to obamory again. Let it simmer at blood heat for a whole day. Now let's make a stock again. Add water and boil for a few hours. Sieve again and save stock for later. Let's add our sludge to the pan and heat it up to 60 degrees. A tip. Don't turn your heat up too much because, oh, you have to clean up your whole kitchen. Okay. Once it's thickened to your liking, run it through a sieve and add to the pan again. Add your stock and reduce again. After the viscosity is just right, add to a jar. Let's try this again. This time with a little bit of butter on toast. The moment of truth. I gotta be honest, I didn't think I would pull this off, but there's no bitter aftertaste. This is actually really, really good. So I made my own Marmite. This is obviously still a bit better, but it's pretty close. Eh, I prefer this one though. <laughs>